So I have the Simplex Plus 278 and I have the Amphibio Multi, multi-frequency machine. I'm in a test garden here. I just bought this machine a couple days ago. It's a 278 version, so I'm gonna keep this 278 version only for my smaller coils. I have my other 277 and my other 267 that I'm just gonna leave the same. I'm not gonna change uh, versions on the, my other simplexes. I'm definitely not gonna upgrade my, up, update my 267 version because I really like that 267 version, it's very stable. So I'm running it hot, I have full, full gain here, not too much EMI here. I'll start out in field mode and in the test garden here. Nine inch clad half dollar right here. Nineties, 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 nineties. Look at how fast I'm swinging. Ninety-five. Eighty-three. Ninety-six. Okay. I'll drop it down one bar. Look at those numbers. Drop it down one more bar down two bars. Still hitting that thing. 98, 98, 97. Oh, Got to get it again right there. So it's down two bars. I'll go over to park one mode. I love this park one mode. Look at how fast I'm swinging. 95. 87. Look at how fast I'm swinging. The shaft is actually bending when I'm swinging this fast. 95s, man. All 90s. This park mo one mode is just amazing, man. Look at how fast I'm swinging that thing, man. You can't even see my coil, right? And it's, I'm still getting 90 signals there. I'll drop it down two bars from the fork gain. Look at that. Just spanking that thing like there's no tomorrow, man. All 90s, all 90s, all 90s. I'll go to park two mode, I'll jack it up again. I'll go to park two mode, full sensitivity. 90s. Look at how fast I'm swinging that thing, man. The recovery speed on this thing is just blows the doors off of any metal detector I've ever used. Look at that, how fast. I mean, I'm just, I'm swinging as fast as I can right here. I'm afraid the shaft's gonna break off, right? And I'm still getting 90s signals, man. I'll drop the gain down here a little bit. This is a clad half dollar at nine inches deep, dry ground. I just dropped it down two bars. Still getting 90s on that. Okay. This is just an amazing machine. Okay, I'm gonna pinpoint it. Actually, I'll go to park one mode. So that clad half dollar is right there, okay? Just so there's no trickery here involved. I got a silver quarter here at nine inches deep with a bunch of iron nails, rusty square nails all around it, on top of it, everywhere in the hole there. Park one mode is just spanking. Right there. Nine inches deep, 80s, 90s. If I go slower, it's really hitting that hard. 90s, 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 80s, 90s, 90s. Okay, that's a full gain. I'll drop this gain, the gain down two bars. It clips out a little bit. But there's a lot of iron in that hole there. I have my iron volume at two bars. Now I'll go over to field mode. Jacked all the way up. I have to go slower in this mode. I can't swim nearly as fast because there's a lot of iron here. The recovery speed in the field mode is a lot slower, so it's gonna, all you're going to hear is iron if you're swinging fast. There's just so much iron there. It's, just, it's struggling with this one. But it's still, it's still giving me those higher, higher numbers there. I'll go to park two mode. This is amazing right here. Watch.
reasonable speed here. There's a lot of iron in that hole. Okay, I'm still getting that tone. I'm getting not a super stable signal there, but there's a lot of iron in that hole. I'll even drop it down two bars. It's still hitting that coin, man. No numbers on there, but it's not hitting it very good. Okay, so I think the park one mode is really doing very well. I'll pinpoint that target there. Silver quarter with a bunch of iron around it, right there. Okay. Now I'll go with the Amphibio. And every time I've compared these two machines together, the Simplex has spanked its ass. Right out of the box, I mean, with 1,500 hours on it, multiple machines, multiple modes, multiple versions, every Simplex that I've ever had in this test garden has outperformed this Amphibio, okay? And I can push buttons and try to dial this machine in, and it just can't do it against that Simplex, man. I'm telling you. So I'll turn this machine on here, and I'll jack it up all the way. I'll ground balance it, just to show you there's no trickery involved here. And I've had a couple different Amphibios in this garden, and a couple different uh, cruisers in this garden, and the Simplex has spanked their ass every time. Every version, every mode, uh, not every mode. Uh, I'll, I'll show you here in a second. I'll show you how to how to really push the buttons on this Amphibio. So ground balance, 71, really close to what the, the Simplex was doing. But I'm getting a lot of EMI here. I'm gonna jack it up all the way. Run it hot, 99, okay. There's that clad half dollar at nine inches deep right here that the simplex just spanked three tone here i have to go really really slow with the amphibio three tone jacked up all the way i'm not discriminated it nothing is discriminated out see it that bar up there nothing is discriminated out up there Okay, and that one's right out of the box. Just turn it on and go machine. This machine, you really have to push a lot of buttons. So it's right. I have to go super, super slow to get any good numbers on there or to get a good solid tone. So if I'm swinging it fast as simplex, three tone, there's just no way, man. There's no way. I mean, it's just. That simplex is just absolutely blowing the doors off of all my detectors. And I can't have this thing jacked up like this in most cases. Even with the simplex too, I usually don't have it jacked up because I get a lot of EMI like this. So I'll drop it down, drop it down to a reasonable level to 91. Okay. This is three tone. I had that, uh, that simplex in three tone also. have to go super super slow if i was swinging just normal totally totally missed that target right now i'll go to two-tone right here does a little bit better than two-tone but i still have to swing slow right I have to swing super slow i'm in 20 kilohertz right now i'll drop down to 14 kilohertz in two-tone my sensitivity is, is down pretty far. I'll, I'll jack it up here a little bit. Shut it up. I'll jack it up all the way. Two-tone. It's doing pretty good there. In two-tone. But you have to push this, these buttons. You have to. You have to have a test garden to really get to know the Amphibio. And you have to really push a lot of buttons to make the Amphibio perform. But... I, I can't run my amphibia like this, right? It's way unstable. Sensitivity is way too high. Drop it down here. Okay, that's reasonable. Hit this half dollar here. Have to go slow. So, if I'm going fast, let's get it click. That's what I've been talking about. I just get a click on those good targets. If I pinpoint it, but I'm not going to investigate every little click and pop with the machines. You know, I want I want to I want to be able to hear that target good like the the simplex does. So now I'll go to five kilohertz frequency in three tone, jack the gain up. 
five kilohertz. And you gotta be pushing the buttons, man, with these, with these high-end machines, you gotta push the buttons. If you don't, you're going to under, the machine's gonna underperform for you. And it's gonna get all out of, bent out of shape. And when you're pushing buttons, you're not extracting targets out of the ground. You're not digging. And when you're digging, you're getting targets out. You know, the more targets that you get out of the ground per hour, the better, right? And I'll, I'll go down to 20, I'll go down to five kilohertz frequency. I normally don't have it in five kilohertz frequency because you dig up a lot of nails, deep nails, man. Some guys like the five kilohertz frequency. I do like the five kilohertz frequency if I'm in a fairly clean area where I know there's silver wrap, that with, which I've hit already. And in five kilohertz frequency, my batteries don't last a full day in it. So I have to carry my extra battery pack because five kilohertz frequency really is a battery hog. It's hitting that big time. But if I have it in five kilohertz frequency, like this jacked up all the way, I'm gonna be getting, getting massive square nails deep. And I can't be in the iron. It doesn't do very well in the iron in five kilohertz frequency. So I'm down to a reasonable level here. It's hitting it pretty good in five kilohertz, but there's no numbers on that. Oh, there's a number. See? You just have to, you have to push buttons on this Amphibio. And when you're pushing buttons, you're not digging, man. When you're digging, you're getting targets out. If it's junk or if it's good stuff. So this is that, that silver quarter at nine inches deep with all that iron around it, okay? I'll start out in 14 kilohertz frequency just to match it up. I'll go up my sensitivity all the way up in three tone, okay? Really noisy. I normally don't have, like I said, I normally don't have this jacked up all this way because you get a lot of EMI. Just nothing but iron. Two, three, three, four, four. I have to go super slow. And I am not going to be going like this. I'm not going to be going like this the whole time I'm detecting, right? That's not the way I roll, man. If you're swinging like this, you're gonna get very few targets out of the ground. Three tone, same as the amphibia, or same as, same as the simplex. My sensitivity is all the way up. It's not hitting it, man. Just not hitting it very good. This is my normal swing speed. Look at that. Three, three, one. If I pinpoint it, I can get it. But every time I've compared these two together, and I've used many different machines, many different simplexes, many different amphibios, many different cruisers, the simplex has outperformed every single machine I've had in this test garden. The simplex may not outperform the amphibio out in the field, but the, there's a purpose for the test gardens to learn how to dial the machines in and this test garden has come in very handy for this test garden with the amphibio because you have to be pushing buttons yeah you, ha you have to be pushing buttons with the amphibio and to learn the machine you know they're on the settings all the tone breaks and the tone volumes and the tones and uh, the, the, the different modes how they work but this machine you just turn this machine on and it spanks the amphibio's ass every single time every version every simplex that i've ever had has outperformed the amphibio in this test garden i you know I, I can't say for sure out in the field because you know i haven't really tested them side by side in the field but i know that the simplex you get a lot of chatter and a lot of emi or in the high trash areas it doesn't i don't have very many coil options for this thing right now just one coil option with the amphibio i can really go to anywhere i want and get through the iron, get through the EMI, you know, and with this, with this newer simplex here, the 278 and the 277, you have to dial it back down quite a bit. And I've noticed that the, uh, the tones change and you get a little bit of clipping action, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of clipping right at the end of your tones there if you drop your sensitivity down too far. And of course, you're not gonna go as nearly as deep if you drop your gain down too much and but the park one mode in this uh this sim the new version here the 278 is uh, absolutely amazing man i am just 
it's blown my doors off but I'm gonna use this simplex here with my smaller coils uh, I have three simplexes right now I have a two seven eight this one I'm gonna use the, the newer coils on the smaller coils and I have a two seven seven version um, that I'm just gonna keep two seven seven for the farm fields because it goes deeper and I don't have to worry about pinpointing too much in the farm fields. And then I have my 267 version, which I prefer over any detector that I've ever had. Um, that performs very well in most situations. Um, and the 267, I'm not going to be upgrading, updating that machine because they don't, they're not offering that. If I went to 278 um, on my older version, and I wanted to go back to my older version, if I updated it, um, my coil may fail on me and I'll just uh, it just renders the, the machine completely useless if you start out with 268 or 267 and you upgrade and then you want to go uh, downgrade to uh, a previous version like 267 or 268 your your coils could fail on you fail on you and they're not going to honor that warranty on that coil and you can even stick another coil on that simplex that you downgraded from 277 or 278 and uh, it'll burn that coil up too. So if you have a simplex that's 268 or 267, keep it the same, buy another simplex if you wanna use the new coils. But I, I, I prefer that 267 version over the, these newer versions because it's just so, such a stable machine and I, I can really swing super fast with that machine. This machine I can swing fast too, but once you get out in the EMI and the, or in the farm fields, uh, you know, it, it, it performs completely different. This is a controlled environment here, that, this test garden. So there, there we go. The Amphibia got its ass spanked again, like always. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe.